Hello, everybody. It is your friendly neighborhood coach, Dr. Wu, and I am listening. Thank you for joining me. <sighs> we are talking about self-talk. <sighs> you know, the voice we hear the most all day long is our self. Mm. So obviously, we're influenced by that. Hello, Kai. Thank you for joining me. Ah, so how should we be more aware of how we're talking to ourselves? So this could be interactive. I can ask you some questions. Let's say, let's say you uh, are having difficulty completing an assignment. What's that? What's your voice? What's that self-talk you're selling yourself? Are you telling yourself that you're not smart enough to do the schoolwork? Are you telling yourself that, um, that you just can't do it? See, all these things that we can say to ourselves, do you realize how, how actually demotivating? It would actually make you kind of like, ooh, down and actually unable and actually it takes away, it drains away your power and your energy, right? With that kind of self-talk. Hmm. What are some of the self-talks? What are the things that you say to yourself? Have you noticed it? Type it in the chat. I will, I will you know, address it and actually give you a, a, a replacement thought, okay? Remember, anything negative, you know, what? even today, have you thought of something that was negative? It could be things like, oh, this will never get better, or I always do it wrong, or anything that says never or always may have something negative attached to it, so you want to address it. And remember, any kind of judgment that we give to ourselves, you know, with our self-talk, or any judgment we give to other people for having different opinions and preferences, you know, chocolate versus strawberry, than us, any kind of judgment is actually an attack on ourselves. That actually activates our, our brains to actually go into the stress response. That means increased cortisol levels and inflama you know, inflammation, right? And it actually weakens your immune system. So we really do wanna stay away from judgment you know, negative judgment to ourselves and to other people. Instead, you know what's the antidote to judgment? It is, hello, Lisa, thank you for joining. The antidote to judgment, right, is actually curiosity and compassion, being curious. So the next time, again, we don't want to activate the critter brain, right, the stress response. We want to always reframe it. So the next time you actually are aware of a negative thought like, oh, I am so not smart or this is always going to be bad or I never get it right or um, I'll never be perfect or any of those things, you want to reframe it. And you know me, I love to reframe. So what do you fr reframe it? You reframe it so that it's something and the best way to reframe it, of course, is to make it line. Mm, ah, we're back. Ah, that was a little uh, interruption. Hello, Olivia from Nigeria. Um, yeah, that was a little interruption, but we are back. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, so remember, judgment gets you into that critter brain, that stress response, right? We want to come back to the peaceful relaxation, which is love, right? Curiosity and compassion and God's word. Yeah, I know. You see my old Bible. I actually, I have the binders falling apart. See? So actually, I'm using duct tape. Ah! Uh, I love my Bible. Anyway, so remember, these are some of the things I want to uh, kind of play with you, okay? So just think about it. Today, what are some of the negative things you have said to yourself, right? That, oh, you can't get the schoolwork done. Oh, I'm not smart enough. Or I can't do this job right. Or they're going to fire me. Or these people don't like me. Or anything like this. So... What about this one? Uh, oh, I did something wrong. Hmm, how would you reframe that? You can reframe that to, I did my very best. Hmm, right? How about this one? Oh, I cannot show my emotions or I can't speak up. Hmm, let's reframe that. I can show my emotions when it is safe, around safe people. Such a difference, right? Here's another one. Let's see. Oh, I am, I am so weak and I have no options. I'm, there's nothing more to, for me to do. I'm so discouraged. 
Well, let's change that around. God has given you power. I have power. I have options. God is whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I have options. I have choices. When you know you have choices, then all of a sudden you have freedom and power. How about this one? I, I can't take it anymore. Ah, let's reframe that too. I can get what I want and I can get what I need. I can handle it because God gives me the strength, right? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? Five, you can do the tactile, really, really good, right? How about this one? I am powerless, I am helpless. That could have been true at one time when you were undergoing trauma, but it is not true now. So we must reframe it, modify it. And you can say, I am powerful because the Lord has said that the Holy Spirit lives in me and he gives me, right, the gift of power, love, and a sound mind. So I'm going to accept that. How about this one? I am not good enough. Mm, right? Or I've just been, I've been damaged. I'm broken now. Or I'm different. Or I'm not pretty. Or I'm all alone. Let's change all those. Let's reframe all those according to God's word. God says, no. You are good enough because I've made you and created you wonderfully and beautifully. Oh, I'm damaged. No, God says, I have made you amazing and I have restored you. I have created you exactly to be the way you are to accomplish exactly the plans I have made for your life. Hmm. How about another one? I'm different or I'm a failure. Oh, I'm not afraid to fail. Failure means that I am trying. If I don't fail, that means I am not trying hard enough. Remember, failure is necessary for success. So if you fail, you go, yay, look, I just failed. You can celebrate that. Yay, I just failed. Ah, that means I'm one step closer to succeeding. Because when we fail, that's, I just learned something that I'm not going to do again. Mm, I'm getting closer to my success, right? Celebrate the failure. Let that fuel motivate you to keep going, right? Or I'm ugly. Or I don't like the way this looks or that looks. No, God says, I've made your, your body is holy and sacred. And the Holy Spirit actually lives in your body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so you are beautiful in my sight. And that's what Abba Daddy tells us, right? When you're feeling, oh, I'm all alone. I got to do this all by myself. Oh, so much pressure on my shoulders. No, I am supported because God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So no matter where you are, even with me, in Desert Storm, all by myself, I felt lonely, but God showed me he was always there because out of nowhere in the middle of the desert, a little sparrow, a little tiny sparrow would just appear. And I always felt that was, that was really a message from the Lord saying, I'm, I'm still here. You may feel like the whole world has forgotten you out here in the desert, but I am always here. I go with you wherever you go, right? Be strong and courageous, right? Have I not commanded you, the Lord says. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For I, your God, I will go with you wherever you go, wherever we go, right? So every time in Desert Storm, even though I felt, I felt so, so deserted and, and abandoned. Hello, Teresa. Even though I felt that way, feelings, but when I saw that little sparrow just appear in the desert, it was really, I just felt in my heart, it was the Lord saying, it's okay, Florian, I am still here. I have not forgotten you. I got you right in my hands. I know what's going on with this war and I know the outcome and I will be with you wherever you may go. So yeah, self-talk, right? Really try to learn how to reframe it. But the first thing is being aware of it. Being aware of your self-talk and not being critical of your self-talk. Don't, don't, think, don't think, oh my goodness, why did I just think another negative thought? Bad, bad, bad. You know, no, 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 we don't do that. You forgive yourself. You be curious. You go, hmm, I wonder where that negative thought came from. Hmm, oh, I know. I heard that during childhood. Oh, oh, I know. I think some kind of, you know, ex-person, you know, said that to, to, to me. Or I heard somebody say it to somebody else on TV or in a movie, you know. Then you kind of be curious and compassionate and go, oh, um, that's not a good that's a negative one, and that's a stressful one. Right? It's going to activate my stress reaction. I don't want that one. I'm going to kick that one out. I'm going to replace it with God's word. I'm going to reframe it. I'm going to reframe it, and this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, I did the best I could. Ha. I'm okay. 
Sometimes I don't feel okay, but I'm okay. And I'm doing my best. Mm, how about this one? I am safe now. Mm, I am safe because God keeps me safe. How about I can show my emotions and I can speak up with safe people. Mm, how about I have options now, choices and freedom and power because God gives me that. God gives us all free choice. How about this one? I am powerful. I can succeed. I can handle it. Mm -hmm. One little step at a time. One little chore. If I feel overwhelmed, it's okay. I'm just going to take the next step. Like Elizabeth Elliot always taught, taught us. Take the next step, right? When um, her beloved um, husband, Jim Elliot, was martyred, right? How about this one? I am good enough. Mm, I'm good enough. I can try. I can just keep trying. I'm good enough. Because God says I'm good enough, okay? And uh, yeah, I've been restored. I have been created by God. I have the mind of Christ. Ooh, when you're thinking about your intelligence, say, hey, I'm pretty smart because I've got the mind of Christ. That's what Jesus says, and I believe him. And I do belong. If you, feel, if you have that, that, that re um, a fear of rejection, you know, when somebody kind of turns you down or abandons you, hey, hey, I do belong, okay? If somebody walks away from me in my life, well, then I obviously didn't need them. And God will bring the right people into my life. Hmm. I belong. And I am special because God has made me special and unique. Remember, you are the only one in this whole world or that is you. So only you can be the best you. No one else can be you. So you might as well be you because you're the best at being you. I'm the best at being me. So I'm just going to be me. And you're going to be you. So it's okay to be different. We're different and we're unique and we are exactly who we are. and We are exactly the time and space and place that we're supposed to be. And we are wonderfully and awesomely created. Yay! So we can love every part of our body. And this is an, an, an I am supported. Even if I am walking a journey by myself, I am still supported because the Lord is always with me. Always with us. Never ever leaves us nor forsakes us, right? Action step. Ah, be aware of your thoughts. Just be aware of it. No judgment. Always curiosity, always compassion and self-forgiveness. Hey, I did the best I could. Now I'm learning more, so I'm going to do better. Right? And that's it. I failed. Ah, I'm one step closer to succeed, succeeding in my success. So the action step is that, and this is, I'm, I'm gonna, that's the action step, but I don't know. This is a bonus challenge, okay? And uh, we may talk about this in another one because it's going to be hard for some of you. Uh, but this is a challenge, okay? This is a challenge part. This is just bonus, but you can just do the action step and just be aware of your negative thoughts. Just, just be aware, be curious, forgive yourself and, and compassionate, and, and, and try to reframe it. If you're not averse to, you know, if you're not used to reframing it or with the Bible yet, that's okay. The action step today is just being aware, okay? But this is the bonus challenge, the bonus challenge, all right? And again, um, we'll, walk, we'll work up to this because eventually I'm going to get you to this, this point. The bonus challenge is if you can go to the mirror, look at yourself, okay? All of yourself, okay? And you can say to yourself, like I'm looking at myself right now, Florian, I love you. I love you. Okay, I love you. If you can say that to yourself for two minutes straight and literally and really mean it, and you can say it so, so heartfelt, and you can, you can, you can feel your, your younger self, your, your, your sweetie, you've got to have a term of endearment, you know, just you can, you can see yourself, all that you've been through. The good times and the bad times, the failures, the successes, everything. And you can look at yourself and you can say, I love you. I am proud of you. You've gone through so much and I love you. God loves you. And you can say that and really believe it. That is where I want to get all of us to. Okay. That's where the healing is. That's where the that's when we get in touch with our authentic self. If we can get in touch with our authentic self, our inner being, our inner child, that God's created, if we can get in alignment to that, then we can literally start getting rid of limiting beliefs that are that don't line up with what God says. And then we can start actually behaving, thinking, feeling, choosing, acting 
in the behaviors that align with what God has created us to be. And then we can become all that God has created us to become. Amazing, right? Ah, have an amazing weekend. Action step. Just become aware. Just be curious. Curious, compassionate, and forgiving. Just be aware. Hey, hey oh, that was a negative thought. Whoop, whoop. Time out. <laughs> Time out. Negative thought. Wonder where that came from. Hmm, wonder what caused that. Hmm, just be aware, okay? If you feel like you can, even go beyond aware and get into the Bible and find the replacement to that, to that negative thought that actually lines up with God's word and truth and love, then you're going to be set free. And then if you want to do the challenge, do the mirror exercise. But we'll uh, address that in future episodes, all right? In the name of the great physician, peace. Peace is shalom wholeness, everything mended, all the broken pieces put together in creating an amazing pottery vase that's mended with gold and silver. That's God's love. And by his stripes we are healed and we are made whole. So that is the Lord's Jesus, right? Perfection and holiness and, and love over us. And shalom is also just health, you know, health, mind, body, and spirit. Prosperity in mind, body, and spirit, right? You prosper in all things, in health, in your mind, in your relationships, in your finances, in your careers, right? In your, in your connection with the Lord, in your soul, right? And uh, remember, uh, we've been talking about church, you know, getting out of our comfort zone, finding out what is the adventures that God has for us, taking the nail-scarred hands of the Lord Jesus, hand, with our hand, climbing out of our comfort zone, the comfort zone boat, limiting beliefs, negative thoughts, all those comfortable but unhealthy things. Let's get out of that boat. And let's go walk on water, even in the storm. As long as we've got Jesus, remember, he's with us wherever we go. And we only want to go where he is. So be blessed. In the name of the great physician, Jehovah, Rafe, and God who provides all for life that we need and to please him. Yahweh, Jairoi. And the banner over me, Jehovah Nisi, is peace. Shalom, peace, and love. Shalom, peace, and love. Be blessed, everyone. Be aware of how you're talking to yourself. I want you to talk to yourself really, really nicely. I love you. Go to the mirror. I love you. I love you. I love you. To the moon and back into the eternity. I love you. I love you. I love you. Blessings. Awareness. Self-talk. Self-talk full of love.